What if I told you something crazy? The deadliest flying hunter on Earth isn't what you think. Not the lightning-fast falcon, not the razor-sharp eagle, but something you could crush with your thumb. I'm talking about a killer with a success rate that embarrasses great white sharks. A hunter so good it makes Navy SEALs look sloppy. Today, we're ranking the top five flying predators by kill rate. And number one, it'll blow your mind. You've never seen anything like this. I spent months digging into hunting data, studies from six continents. What I found will change how you see the sky. Most people think they know deadly flying predators. They're wrong. We're not talking size. We're not talking speed. We're talking cold, hard facts, kill rates, success numbers, the brutal truth about who really rules the air. So buckle up. We're counting down five lethal flying killers, ranked by pure efficiency. Number one will shock you. Number five, Bald Eagle, the apex thief that can't hunt. Here's something that'll mess with your head. America's national bird, our symbol of power, it's the worst hunter on this entire list. Think about it. We put this bird on our money, our flag. But when it comes to hunting, the bald eagle is basically a flying bully. Bald eagles only succeed 60 to 70% of the time. That's our lowest number today. And here's the kicker. Most of their hunting is actually stealing. Yellowstone researchers watched something amazing. Bald eagles stole fish from other birds 73% of the time. 73%. Picture this scene. An osprey dives down, catches a fat salmon, starts flying home. Then, bam! A bald eagle swoops in like a sky pirate, bullies the osprey until it drops the fish, then catches it mid-air. America's national bird is more bully than hunter. They're like that kid who steals your lunch money. Powerful? Yes. Good hunters? Not really. Before you feel bad for our national symbol, remember this. Sometimes being sneaky keeps you alive. Bald eagles didn't survive by playing fair. If stealing gets you fifth place, what does real hunting look like? Our next predator doesn't steal kills. It creates them with bone-crushing power. Number 4. African Crowned Eagle the forest ghost with crushing claws. Deep in African forests lives a predator most people never heard of. After today, you'll never forget it. This isn't your typical eagle. While others hunt fish or small birds, crowned eagles hunt mammals, big mammals, animals four times heavier than they are. African crowned eagles succeed 70 to 80% of the time. But here's what makes them scary. They hunt like feathered ninjas, pure stealth, in Kenya's forests, researchers saw something impossible. A crowned eagle killed a small antelope, then carried it 200 feet up into trees. Think about that. This bird weighs 8 pounds. The antelope? 32 pounds. That's like you picking up a grown person and flying to a 20-story rooftop. How? Grip strength of 500 pounds per square inch. Enough to crack bones like twigs. This eagle kills prey four times its weight. Imagine your house cat taking down a full-grown human. That's the skill level we're talking about. Most people walking through African forests have no clue. These death machines watch from above, silent, patient, ready. Raw power is impressive. But specialized precision? That's next level. Our number three hunter evolved into the perfect killing machine. Their success rate will shock you. Number three, Osprey, the fish-killing missile. Forget everything you know about fishing. What you're about to see will redefine precision. Most predators hunt whatever they can catch. Ospreys, they're specialists. Fish-killing machines that make pro anglers look like amateurs. Ospreys succeed 80 to 85% of the time. But here's what's incredible. They don't just catch fish. They intercept them like guided missiles. Scottish researchers at Loch Garten saw something amazing. Ospreys caught fish four out of every five dives. Some birds hit 90% success rates all season long. But wait, it gets better. These birds have reversible toes, barbed foot pads, equipment that makes dropping fish almost impossible. Plus their nose holes close underwater. Ospreys are basically submarines with wings. They evolved features that exist nowhere else, all for one purpose, killing fish with ruthless efficiency. When an osprey dives, it adjusts mid-flight. It calculates light bending in water. It's doing physics in real time to hit where the fish actually is. Surgical precision is impressive, but pure speed? 
That's devastating. Our next predator doesn't hunt, it obliterates, with velocity that turns attacks into explosions. Number two, Peregrine Falcon, the 240 mile per hour missile. Imagine a fighter jet with talons. Now imagine it has one mission, killing at impossible speeds. Speed isn't just fast, it's physics. No predator understands this better than peregrine falcons. When they hunt, they don't catch prey, they destroy it. Peregrine falcons succeed up to 71% in dive attacks. But here's what makes them legendary. They hunt at over 240 miles per hour, faster than highway traffic. Over New York's bridge, researchers clocked something incredible. A peregrine hit 242 miles per hour during a dive. When it struck a pigeon, the impact echoed 300 feet away. Think about that. The collision sound carried across three football fields. That's not hunting. That's aerial warfare. At top speed, peregrines hit like small car crashes. They don't just catch prey. They obliterate it. The impact alone kills before talons touch. Peregrines have special nose baffles. Without them, air pressure at 240 miles per hour would blow out their lungs. 240 miles per hour seems slow compared to our number one. What you're about to discover will change everything you thought about predators forever. Number one, Dragonfly, the tiny fighter pilot that breaks physics. Everything you think you know about deadly predators is wrong. We talked about eagles, falcons, massive birds with razor talons and crushing beaks. But the deadliest flying hunter, it weighs less than a paperclip. Dragonflies succeed 90 to 97% of the time. Let me say that again, 97%. Higher than great white sharks, higher than lions, higher than everything. MIT researchers discovered something unbelievable. Dragonflies don't chase prey. They calculate intercept courses like military jets. They predict where targets will be and arrive there first. Picture this. A mosquito flies straight. The dragonfly doesn't follow. Instead, it calculates speed, direction, and flight path. Then flies to where the mosquito will be in two seconds. Perfect interception. A creature with a pinhead-sized brain has the highest kill rate on Earth. This tiny insect is more efficient than sharks, than lions, than anything that hunts. Dragonflies have four independent wings. Each wing moves separately, forward, backward, up, down. They fly in directions that shouldn't be possible. Here's what'll keep you awake tonight. Dragonflies perfected this technique 300 million years ago. They were apex predators before dinosaurs, before mammals before everything we call dangerous. The deadliest flying hunter has been hiding in plain sight, in your backyard, at your local pond, waiting for you to notice. There you have it, five most lethal flying predators, ranked by pure efficiency. But think about this, the most successful hunter isn't what we expected, not the biggest, not the fastest, not the most famous. It's the one perfecting its craft for 300 million years, the one calculating physics with a grain of rice-sized brain. What does that tell you about nature? About evolution? About incredible complexity hiding in simple creatures? Next time you see a dragonfly at a pond, remember this. You're looking at the ultimate predator, a biological fighter pilot that makes every other hunter look amateur. If that 97% kill rate blew your mind, wait until you see my research on ocean predators. That video drops next week. It'll change everything you think about underwater hunters. Hit subscribe for more shocking predator facts. Facts that'll make you question everything about the natural world. Drop a comment. Which flying killer surprised you most? I bet 90% of you didn't see that dragonfly coming. Until next time. Keep looking up. You never know what's hunting above you.